very much welcome to everyone um, to the 2024 uh, PEC Renewables uh, virtual AGM. We've done this before, but thank you all very much for coming. And thanks to those that are joining us from the previous AGMs we had just briefly before. Um, it's really good to see you all here and we really, really do appreciate it. I think it was a, a comment from the previous one if you went before was I hope you all made it home in different snow conditions and so on. I had to have the difficulty of getting through them myself this morning. So um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that you're all here. So thank you very much. Um, just to introduce myself, uh, you would have seen me from previous AGMs and hopefully on the reports that we do. So I'm Lee Richards. I'm the current chair of PEC renewables as well as obviously the director as well as the director on PEC CBS and any sort of community solar. Um, so we're going to go into this sort of formal agenda in terms of the AGM actions that we need to do as a formal process but before we actually start that I'll hand over to Alistair our uh, and McPherson is obviously our chief executive which you're, you're well acquainted with um, just to go through some opening words and to cover off some of the other sort of housekeeping points and some highlights basically from what PECAR has achieved in the last year. Thank you Lee, um, lovely to see you all, um, um, friends and new and old and uh, as few people in the room that have been here since the start. I'm just looking back at um, the paperwork from our first AGM back in 2014 early today um, when we used to do those things face to face um, and it's good to see some um, faces still here with us. Um, firstly, in case you're having any trouble um, connecting, hearing me, seeing me, best thing you can do is to leave the meeting and then come back in again. If that doesn't work, um, just drop us an email support at plymouthengcommunity.com and we'll try to get you to be able to join in some form. We are recording this meeting. Um, we want to be able to share this for purposes of transparency with our wider members and we pop it on our website. So uh, if you don't want to be visible, um, please do turn off your camera, but please do keep it on if you um, if you can. It's much nicer looking at a group of faces than a group of white circles. Um, we have muted everybody that isn't actually um, leading or speaking. That's just to make sure the audio quality is good. Um, but if you wish um, to uh, uh, make yourself heard or I like raise a question in any way, just put your hand up or put a comment in the chat um, and we'll address that as um, as we go through. Um, so just as context um, before we leap into it, uh, we, we have circulated our impact report um, alongside um, the formal paperwork uh, for this meeting that tells the story of all the things that have been going on within the wider PEC family. Um, this is obviously PEC renewable specifically, but that just drills all the threads together of what we're trying to achieve as uh, a collective. I do encourage you to read it and share it with your friends, family, take it to the pub, wherever you can. There's a lot of reasons to be proud um, um, of what is going on within PAC and that document tries to provide a summary of it. Um, I think James has just posted a link in um, in the chat for you to have a look at some point. Um, highlights wise, um, this year, I guess from a renewables perspective, Arnesettle um, Community Solar Farm continues um, to work very well. It's operationally and um, technically are working uh, brilliantly and um, commercially is um, providing a good return into us and the Community Benefits Society and um, the last year because of the high power prices that you know, are available in the market at the moment. That means there's been about £125,000 worth of um, uh, community benefit came out just from Earn Settle into our wider work, um, which is great. You know, our business model on a page was always to take the surpluses from local renewable generation and pull that into other poverty and climate change work in the city. And that is actually you know, a great example of how we can do that. Um, our rooftop por 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 portfolio, we've had a big effort in the last two years to get on top of some of the backlog maintenance. That's beginning to pay off, but like not completely out of the woods yet. Um, so you can see within um, the reports that, you know, we're not quite as profitable as we were last year. That's largely because of some ongoing kind of problems on the rooftops. Um, but, you know, the uh, landscape looks good in the future. Uh, we're continuing to work on Chelsea and uh, Chelsea Meadow, which again, there'll be a story in the impact report about that, but um, we aim to um, reach financial close on that in February and hopefully be on site in uh, by Easter time next year. 
generally, I um, uh, just wanted to comment that these are exciting times. Um, we have a new government um, with a local power plan and GB energy ambitions that reflect a shift in policy towards the kind of stuff that we've been trying to do against the flow of government and policy and support for the last 10 years. Um, so it feels like 2024 will be marked by the time when perhaps uh, government started to work with us and that we started to get support from Whitehall. Um, even without that, in the last year, you know, we've, we've gen demonstrated that we have a successful approach to local energy, um, an, an approach that puts communities, local stakeholders at the heart of restructuring our um, economy and decarbonising that economy and crucially making um, uh, energy innovations work to tackle poverty and inequality. Um, in 2024, we supported over 1,800 homes um, with advice around retrofit. Um, and other casework and, and through that casework we negotiated over a million pounds worth of total benefits savings and grants to those households putting money back into local people's pockets um, we saved community energy organization community organizations schools businesses over two hundred thousand pounds from um, bills that um through the renewables that we have on their roofs and through our work at Anna Settle, we've um, taken 540 primary school children out to learn about the power of solar. Again, exciting times. Um, we have grown to an organisation um, that has a collective turnover of over three million. Um, we have 33 staff um, and we're about to open our first physical presence in the city centre, giving an opportunity for people to meet with us face to face to benefit from the work that we can do and share our expertise and advice. So it's been an exciting year. Uh, and again, I draw your attention back to um, the impact report, but also watch and see what comes out. You know, we, we, we wait with bated breath around the details of GB Energy and local power plan, but you know, we have reasons to be very optimistic about what 2025 brings for us. So just in the AGM me mechanics, um, we have a number of resolutions coming forward to you um, as the membership this evening. As part of this formal AGM business, we will only be able to count your vote on decisions if you are actually a member of PEC Renewables. Um, I think you are, but like uh, we need to check that. The resolutions in these AGMs require a majority show of hands of the members present. In these online AGMs, it's sometimes tricky to count the number of homes and the hands in favour. And therefore, this year we are proposing something called backwards voting by which we mean we will ask those to abstain um, to raise their hands first those who wish to vote no or against the proposal to raise their hand second. And from there, we will hopefully be able to assume um, we will all, not only hopefully, we will be able to assume um, uh, that there is a majority in favour. And we've just done this in the previous AGMs, and it does slightly rob everybody of the ability of a, a bit of AGM hand raising exercise. Um, but it's, it works in terms of the mechanics of capturing people's intent online. The chair will make the instructions clear before asking people to vote. Um, just to check that everyone has the functionality to vote, can we um, press, um, have a play with pressing the raise hand button? Um, so everyone hopefully can find that button. It's on the top bar of uh, your screen, hopefully. So if everyone could press that, um, and we'll just check that all the hands go up, the needs go up. If anyone's unable to raise their hand, can you make yourself clear? Um, well, we'll try and help you. So I've got Duncan, Neil, Paul. Duncan's hands are gone up. Duncan Tringham, yeah, good. Neil Stevens. Thank you. Four <laughs> hours, is that? Is that being 20, 20 out of 20, I make that. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much. So um, I think. We can lower the hand centrally, is that correct? Or has a path others got to do that? Uh, I think Maria might be on that. Uh, just give us a second. OK. Does anybody have any questions about the proposed voting approach? Right. 
Um, so first um, thing we need to do is just check uh, that we are core it. So I'm just going to check before we kick off with the formal business. Um, can Liz, James, can you just check those registered against uh, the registered PEC homes members and check that we have a quorum allowing us to proceed? Yeah, I can confirm that we have over 10 investors present. Um, would you like me to read off who I think they are? I think if you were happy they were there. Yeah. Happy. Okay, so we have uh, yourself, um, Alistair, and then we have Alex Hartley, Angela McPherson, Chris Pemberthy, Dave Garland, Duncan Tringham, Duncan McPherson, Eric McMichael, uh, Ian Johnson representing PCH, Ian Joint, John Fearon, Lee Patterson, Linda Gilroy, uh, Michelle Virgo representing PEC CBS as a as a um, investor, uh, Paul Hardman and Paul Elliott. Um, so we have got a few people who don't have voting rights, and you're the people whose names I haven't haven't read off. But just to confirm, so we've got um, uh, our accountant. Neil representing um, our accountants at Bromhead um, and then directors uh, Kieran Van Bussell and Dave Madge also present. So I think I've captured everyone. Um, Duncan's got his hand up there. Yeah. Duncan, I don't know if that's a, a question that you want to come forward with. I think he's put his hand back down again. Oh, you put the hand back down again. Lee, so we core it, so I think we're we're good to go. If you want to hand hand the proceedings back to you. Great. Thanks very much, Alistair. Yeah, no, thank you very much for that. And you know, again, you know, just before we start those formal proceedings, thanks ever so much, everyone, for turning up to this. Like I say, your investment and your time in this and 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 please, if you haven't read the annual impact report, I'm sure you would hope to, but like Alistair mentions, please do. Uh, it's incredible the amount of work that's gone on and what the whole Peck family do. Um, so please do do read that. Um, I think that would be it's it is it is fantastic work um, and a lot's been achieved and like Alice was mentioning hopefully it's going to be a lot more positive going forward in the future with the change of government and the particular thing with GB energy and, and other things happening in the sort of policy area so let's 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 keep we'll keep working on that I'm absolutely certain of that um, so basically we just start the formal proceedings as per previous years and you've probably been involved in these before if you haven't, we go through particular agenda items and I'll, I'll ask for a proposer and a seconder for different ones. And then we will go through, like say, that reverse process that Alistair walked us through in terms of hands up if you abstain, hands if you uh, object and um, no response at all if it's a yes. And we'll take the balance basically of the, of the votes for those that are eligible to vote as PECR members. Um, so as We've just confirmed from the register or core it or this has gone through or core it which is great um item two is apologies so we've got apologies from david evans Gemma Knowles, and the company secretary jill peel and one of our directors sarah lee so those are the apologies for the record um so the first sort of formal business in terms of the sort of receiving the director's report and the financial statements for the period year end to the 30th of June 2024. Um, basically, like I said, we're going to do the, the sort of hand vote and so on. So can we carry that resolution forward? So in, in the first instance, using the sort of raise hand function, can I please have a proposer from the assembled members? So I've got Ian is in there first very quick on the quick on the button there so thank you ian uh so we can just lower those and then can i go for a seconder for those please yeah chris was there i think first the one the first one i saw so i think i'm chris crap chris penberthy as well that's great um so uh to ensure this is supported by the majority of the, the members present you know um, it's going to ask this reverse sort of way of the conventional order so um first of all can pet renewables investor members only raise their their virtual hands if they wish to abstain for this vote a few seconds 
Okay, nothing there, thank you. And secondly, are uh, any of the investor members who wish to vote against that vote, if you raise your hand. No, that's great. Thank you very much. So effectively, unanimously, we've voted that through. Um, so process of elimination, everyone's in favour from the investor members, which is fantastic. Thank you. Um, so that effectively this resolution's approved now for the for the minutes. So we go on to the next bit, which is to reappoint Bromhead, now known as TC Bromhead, as chartered accountants, as the orders of the company for PEP renewables um, for the ensuing year and, and to authorise to the directors to set the re remuneration. Um, so again, it's the same process. Um, so if we could have a proposer, unless there's a hand went up straight away there, and I can't quite see who that is. Someone in, is that Linda? Yes, thank you, Linda. You're happy with that. Thank you very much. And then if we can have a seconder for that proposal going through, that's Paul Elliott. Thank you, Paul. Right, if we can just lower hands again, thank you very much. Uh, and the same process as before. Um, so can I ask anyone of the investor members that can vote to raise their hands if they wish to abstain from that to carry the resolution forward? No, fantastic. Thank you. And the same for can any of the investor members that are eligible to vote put their hand up if they wish to vote no. Again, thank you. So again, unanimously, we'll carry the resolution forward as we have all the members uh, um, saying they wish to carry that resolution forward, which is great. So thank you again. Um, so uh, let's go to an awkward moment because we've got to elect the directors and it happens to be me standing down and me coming back up again, which is a bit odd me sort of saying this to everyone in a room virtually or not. Um, so basically, in accordance with our sort of uh, uh, terms, one of the directors had to stand down and then restand or not restand, depending on whether others can come in uh, to that. So as per the articles at this year, I've had to stand down as PEC, our director, um, but I'm also restanding re for election. We had one vacant position and basically there's only been one nomination, which is me, um, which again it feels a bit odd sort of saying that to everyone um but you know so therefore as per our election policy uh, you know ballots not therefore required so as a number of valid nominations is the same as uh, before um it's deemed to be elected um obviously you've seen my summary statement which has been issued to you previously via email or post so i hope you've had a chance to look at that so um just to confirm that reappointment by the, the, the uh, majority of the investors sort of saying so, can I ask that the, the investor members raise their hands if they wish to abstain from voting for that? It all gets a bit nervous because people turn around and say that, well, they say no next, it's a bit like, ooh. Um, Thank you. Uh, and the next one is, can you raise your hands if you'd like to vote no? That's when I move on quickly to the next bit. So um, no, that's great. Thank you. Um, so on that process, as I was saying before, um, so I've been re-elected back to the board for uh, another term effectively. So thank you all very much for your your support for that, I very much appreciate it. Um, so going on to uh, the next element, let me just double check my notes. Uh, yeah, so the next we look at the results, the online voting 
on the resolutions regarding payment of interest on member share capital. So I'm, I'm sure there might be questions on this or, you know, obviously you've seen all the details. So item six is to approve the payment of the interest on member share capital at a rate of 4% for the investment uh, value for shareholders allocated in 2014 and 2015 that share offers one and two. So as the results came in from the voting that was on um, from being uh, the members being um, polled of the 32% of the membership who voted 100% voted in favour yes and one voted no uh, or against no. So therefore based on that majority vote the, the resolution to be therefore passed that we will uh, do the share capital at 4% for those two share offers for uh, offers one and two. The next item is seven, which is about the interest members of share capital at the rate of 6% for the investment value for the share holdings for August 20, August 2016 and January, uh, yeah, January 2017 with the share offer three. Um, so again, just in terms of the results from the share, uh, the, the, the polling of the members. So we had again 32% of the membership who voted, 99%, 125 of the members voted in favour, yes, and 1%, 1 one voted against no. So again, there was a there was a majority there in terms of of that resolution. So as per our rules, that resolution is passed to offer that uh, share offer that six percent rate. Are there any particular questions anyone wants to raise about that before we move on to anything else? Because it's, we're coming towards the end of the full business, but you know, please raise your hand in the chat or, and then we're happy to discuss any other questions, particularly around the sort of share offer percentages. No, no, no questions. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. So again, thank you as investors for your support and all of this. It's 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 fantastic. And like you say, it's great opportunities coming up. So we want to continue to continue to do that with Chelsea and others um, particularly. So, you know, please keep engaged with us all and read those reports and sort of tell your friends about it and get, get involved with it as much as you can with 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 anyone you know that would be interested in sort of getting involved with Pet Car. That's for, that's for sure. Um, so, I don't think there's any other business, formal business to conclude with now. I think that's the main thing. We've got through it relatively quickly. It's coming up to the sort of six o'clock, which is good timing. So again, thank you for, for turning up. So just, is, is there any other business for anybody else? Is there anything anybody want to raise before we close the formal proceedings? Very quiet. Oh, someone's got their hand up. I'm just gonna have a look. Sorry, I'm going to go. So, Alex. Hi, thank you. Um, I don't know if it would be now or afterwards. Would there be an opportunity to just um something Alistair mentioned in his wonderful preamble? Um, relating to some of the work that you're doing in a particular area around retrofit and the exciting times we find ourselves in. Um, would it be now because it was connected to the formal bit or will there be a little opportunity afterwards to ask a question about that? You can ask the question now or yeah. if you want to stay online afterwards, I'm happy if it's a kind of more discursive thing, happy to pick it up as um, uh, after when we say in the okay. sidelines afterwards okay cool yeah thank you okay stay stay online when when, when everyone else leaves sure yeah, the after thanks. party yeah thanks, thanks alex linda yeah i mean if nobody's got other questions i'd just like to um say uh thank you for all the work that you're doing it contributes a lot towards um, the health and welfare of our city and, um, you know, the prospects that you've outlined are looking strong. Uh, all the best for the coming year. That's me. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. That's very much appreciated. Thank you.
yeah, I think we we, we are looking at exciting times, and I think we're in a very strong position. And I think we've maneuvered ourselves in lots of ways to get into the right place for the new new landscape as it is, because it does change quite a bit. But I think Peck as a family, but Peck are as well, is in a very strong position to deliver many more of this to come. So thank you again for that. Uh, Liz, you had your hand up. Yeah, just uh, it seems timely at this this point to say that, as usual, I will be in touch with all members to ask if they would like to donate their interest payment uh, to the, our charity Pet Trust to continue its good work. So uh, watch out for a communication on that. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Liz. Great. Well, there's no other questions apart from Alex obviously hanging on. I'm happy to hang on to that call as well, Al, if you wish me to. Um, I don't know what I can do. Um, thank you very much for your time again. We're two minutes out, so not bad. Um, let's end it there. And so thank you very much again. So I just want to confirm that's the end of our AGM. And I hope you have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing in this cold weather. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you once again, and I hope to see you all again next year.